If you're looking to visit a vineyard while in Maui, and who wouldn't be, you can check out the Ula Palakua Vineyard as the only working vineyard on the entire island. The land itself actually has quite a storied history. Back in 1843, a New England whaling captain, James Mackey, was heading to Lahaina for resupplies for his ship when he was attacked by one of his seamen with a hatchet. While recovering, he decided to buy several thousand acres of land and set up a cattle ranch. Fifty years ago, a new owner acquired quite a bit of the land and decided to start growing grapes here. If you visit here today, you can come and sample one of their signature wines, which is made out of, you guessed it, pineapple. Pineapple or not, it was already 10.30 in the morning here in Maui, which I'm pretty sure is code for happy hour here. So I saddled up to the bar to try out the Maui Blanc, one of the winery's signature pineapple wines, complete with tropical tones and a crisp delivery, or so the menu said. We're ready to have to try this. That's good. Definitely taste the pineapple. Yeah. If you're going to have a working ranch, it's only natural that you're also going to open up a nearby western-themed general store, complete with cowboy hats, leather goods, and hungry elk hunters. Sorry Bambi, today your lunch. So surprisingly here at the ranch they actually raise elk, and you can go across the street to the corner store and buy an elk burger for lunch. And there's actually quite a few locals that do that. Give it a try. Good. Good. It's kind of gamey, but a lot of flavor. To the vegetarians in the audience, think of this as my small part in helping to control the game population on the island, while also filling up my stomach after a couple glasses of pineapple wine. On the completely opposite part of the island, I decided to take in another tropical hike. What better way to work off an elk burger than a trek through the jungle? You're in the Pili, you can head north on the main road and you can find Honolua Bay. Uh, there's a little small parking lot right off the side of the road. You can park your car and walk through a nice little rainforest trail that leads you to the mouth of the bay. What's cool about this spot is from here you can see the surfers who are hanging out in the water looking for waves in Honolulu Bay. This is actually one of the top 10 surfing spots in the entire world. Given that my companions for the day had never traveled with me before, they foolishly allowed me to lead the way. Guys, don't be, don't be concerned. I totally know where I'm going. I've been here for 48 hours. Below me at the bottom of these cliffs is Honolulu Bay. You'll see a ton of surfers here out here all day. That's because it's one of the top surf spots in Maui. In fact, it's often on the top 10 list of the best surfing spots in the entire world. 